Alright, so this is gonna be a, uh, I guess relatively short, kind of unscripted video. About a year ago I put up a guide for Meta Nightmare's movement, and how it differs from Kirby's and how you maintain speed and all that good stuff, but I figure a video comparing the two and kind of going more in depth would probably be a better idea than just a written guide using poorly rendered GIFs. So I have two instances of VBA open right now, both using the same control, as you can see. So I'm going to go ahead and just do a straightforward comparison of Kirby's movement versus Meta Knight's movement, since they're kind of different. So the first thing is the jump height, which jump height is roughly the same, but Meta Knight is able to fall down faster and for I guess a bigger comparison if we go all the way to ceiling here you can see Meta Knight falls significantly faster than Kirby does in that instance. The other thing though is that he also flies to the top way way, way faster than Kirby is able to. So the other difference they have is the dash speed which you can tell right here just a little bit that Meta Knight does indeed move faster than Kirby. For comparison, I'll try to show you over here. Try to get both of them lined up. So you're gonna see Meta Knight's gonna make it way to the end faster than Kirby does. So by default, Meta Knight's main movement should be his dash speed since it is faster than Kirby's by a lot. And his flight is also significantly faster. Which means flight and dash are two things you specifically want to be doing anytime there's a vertical point. Though, in general, dash is probably your way to go if you're trying to get through an area. I'm going to load up the save states. Back to where they were. So the other thing Meta Knight has over Kirby is this neat little mechanic right here. You can kind of see try to get this down. You can make them, you can make Meta Knight land relatively at the same time as Kirby by doing a very short sword swing prior to jumping. For whatever reason, this game when playing as Meta Knight makes it so that whenever you do a sword swing in the air, your fall speed is not immediate. You can kind of tell right here. So if I go to the top and I just swing my sword, you're going to see I'm falling relatively at the same speed as Kirby. Just demonstrate that again. But for whatever reason, when you are when you do a sword swing while rising, the game kind of brings you up with it. So doing that gives you a relatively full height jump in about the same time as Kirby, which you can use to get to different areas. Which, at this point, is kind of where the comparisons end, so I'm going to switch over to just Meta Knight alone. And at this point, I can go ahead and load up some save states. So a useful thing taking both mechanics is, is this jump right here, which is kind of hard to get. Okay, there we go. So as you can see, I was able to make the jump just in one go. But if I only use the increased jump height, I'm not able to make it. If I fly and just try to lower myself like that, I'm not able to make it either. But being able to use both gives you really far horizontal movement as well as height. So using this mechanic is really useful for clearing both large gaps and rooms that require really fast jump height. Because in general, if you're trying to climb, say, Butter Building, it's probably better to start every jump with this and immediately start flapping. Which, speaking of flapping, even though in general you can just tap A to flap, a good thing to keep in mind is that when you're in water and you need to get out immediately, if you hold up, you will begin flapping right away. If you do it here, it's a lot harder to get it started, because you do a short jump out of the water. Kind of see right there. Doing the short jump out of the water sometimes will make you go back inside it, messes you up. So in general, if you just hold up, you're going to immediately start flying, which is kind of useful for the third level in this world, I want to say. And going off um, the ground speed movement again, in general, since you want to be dashing a lot of the time, you're going to want to still be able to hit things. Which you kind of see in the run I do personally, that I tend to go for something like this. 
So if you jump and you're dashing, like you can see right here, I'm just holding left or I'm holding right. Even though I'm jumping, I'm still maintaining my dash. I don't have to tap it or anything. But if I'm holding left and I do a swing, I start going into just walking again. So what you have to do is you have to start tapping again as soon as you hit the ground. Just one tap and then you're immediately back to dashing. Because the game already assumes you're holding that direction once, so pressing it again assumes it's a double tap. But more so than this, one thing that's not very noticeable is that whenever you're attacking, you're very, very slightly moving towards the direction that you're swinging. So, let's say for this guy, if I just keep attacking him like this, I'm eventually just gonna run into him. Like, it's... I can try to demonstrate a little bit better. Let's say I get real close to him. See, I just run into him. So one thing that's good is you can go here and just do a jump, a very short hop, and you're not gonna run into him at all. Ideally, you want to get a boss fight like this, though. He gives me a good pattern. Similar to that. So right there, I'm using three mechanics. Dashing forward, I'm doing short hops so I don't move myself forward, and I'm doing a big jump at the end so I can maintain my forward momentum when I do the jump at the end. And again, let's hope he gives me a good pattern so I can demonstrate. Yep. Right there, I'm maintaining all my speed. He gets launched behind me, and I'm able to just dash forward and not have to worry about getting hit. The other useful mechanic usage is right here. Like, when there's a room of enemies you want to just clear out that's in a straight line, you just go ahead and do very short hops, and you're able to just continually move forward while attacking. Because let's say instead you take your time to kill them, look how much slower this is, just by comparison. It's significantly faster just to go ahead and do short hops and try to get them. Of course, it's not easy all the time, depending on their position, but you get the idea. This kind of also brings up the other attacks that Meta Knight has, because Meta Knight doesn't function the same as Sword Kirby, so he has the regular swing, same as Kirby, except for the fact that it presses you forward every time you attack. His air attack is also different, since it doesn't spin him around, he only attacks in front of him. The other thing he has is an upwards attack, which is not good, you should almost never be using this. It's slow, it cancels... It cancels anything you're doing, so... You get stuck in this very, very long animation, which generally ha doesn't have a good hitbox. It's just bad. You shouldn't be using this ever. His worst attack is when you're dashing forward and you're doing an attack, you end up getting this slight forward slash. Unless you're using this to position yourself for a certain attack or some sort of movement thing, you should never be using this, because it ends up setting yourself up more likely to get hit by the enemy you're attacking, or it lets yourself be vulnerable to enemies that can walk into you. It's kind of hard to demonstrate enemies walking in because I'm not in a good position to do that, but let me see. Yeah. Like, if there's, say, like right here, we can see that there's three enemies that are decently spaced apart. If they're even relatively close, an attack like this leaves me very vulnerable to get hit. I might be able to demonstrate here. But more likely than not, all it's gonna do, since you don't attack immediately with this, is just end up getting you hit from the start. So this attack is not worth using at all. You should avoid it at all costs. But if it comes out, it happens. It's really easy to get it on accident. But in general, this regular swing is the best, but you want to jump before you do it so you're not going forward all the time, because you're more likely not going to run into something. That's useful. The increased jump, I guess boost jump, is useful as well. And then just being able to flap is really good, because it gains you a lot of really quick vertical speed. Aside from that, he does have a slide, which is pretty much the same as Kirby using a sword. It's okay, it's not great. And then the very last attack Meta Knight has is a downward slash, which you are able to cancel by pressing B. So what you can do is cancel it right before you land, because if you do that, you're able to immediately move. Let me see if I can demonstrate that. You're immediately able to just start dashing again. Which is really what you want to be doing. Dash is, again, the fastest movement speed Meta Knight has. So you always want to be in dash as much as you can. And waiting for this animation to end is not a good thing. 
because you then have to wait for it to end immediately going to dash again, whereas you could just be going into dash a couple of seconds faster. Aside from that, movement isn't too complex. It's pretty much just do what the run that I do does. You can kind of set things up to be, I guess, visually cute in a way that makes sense, as opposed to just going for it. But in general, this these are just things you should be keeping in mind whenever you're going through the run. If you have any questions, and I hope there are, because I've been noticing that there's been an increase in Meta Knight Runners lately. If you have any questions, let me know on Twitter, uh, contact me on Twitch, or whatever. Just anything, and I'll always be open to answering it, because I'm always willing to help people wanting to run this game. So that's it, I hope this video helped, and good luck on your runs.